Hey guys, what's up? So we are just a few weeks away from the launch of the OnePlus 8 series and the excitement for these phones is gradually rising even though the situation outside is pretty bad. We have a complete list of specs for the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro courtesy of Ishan Nagawal. The two phones are most likely to launch on the 15th of April. We are also expecting a third device in the series but the launch for that phone has been postponed due to the outbreak and we are not sure when that device would be launched. First up, both the devices will be powered by the latest flagship processor from Qualcomm, the Snapdragon 865, which mandates 5G, so naturally both will support 5G networks. Starting with the smaller and more budget-friendly OnePlus 8, the device packs a 6.55 inches Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display that supports 90Hz refresh rate instead of the more fluid 120Hz. It will be available in two configurations, 128GB and 256GB of UFS 3.0 storage. Now that's interesting, OnePlus as a brand has always marketed itself as the one which never settles and here they have kind of settled on UFS 3.0 even though UFS 3.1 is already being used on other phones. Now this is a leak and should be taken with a pinch of salt, OnePlus might actually launch these phones with UFS 3.1. Moving ahead, the device will feature 8 or 12 GB of LPDDR4X RAM. Even that is not the latest RAM module, LPDDR5 is already available even though practically there is not a lot of difference between the two. We have three cameras on the back with a 48 megapixel main and 16 megapixel ultra wide while the third will be a 2 megapixel depth sensor. As far as the selfie camera is concerned, it will be a 16 megapixel unit. A 4300mAh battery with 30 watt warp charging is also a part of the setup. We won't see any IP rating on this phone and it will be available in three colors, black, green and a glow. Moving to the OnePlus 8 Pro, the phone will supposedly have a 6.78 inches QHD Plus Super AMOLED display with a refresh rate of 120Hz. It will have the same 128GB or 256GB UFS 3.0 storage while the RAM is updated to the more modern 8 or 12GB of LPDDR5 module. Compared to the vanilla OnePlus 8, this will have a 48 plus 48 megapixel configuration for the main and ultra wide camera which is most probably going to be the combination of Sony IMX689 and IMX586 which was used as a main sensor for the OnePlus 7 series. The other two cameras include an 8 megapixel and a 5 megapixel macro lens. The presence of that 8 megapixel sensor is a little skeptical. I mean, what is the purpose of that camera provided we already have a 48 megapixel ultra wide present on the phone? The front camera is going to be the same resolution of 16 megapixel as the one on the OnePlus 8. The battery has been updated to 4510mAh from 4300mAh on the non pro model, and we also have the same 30 watt warp charge technology. What has finally made its way onto OnePlus phones is wireless charging and 30 watts of wireless charging at that. We'll also see an IP68 rating on the phone for the first time and if you remember in the past OnePlus had refrained to provide a rating as it would increase the cost of the devices. And now since their flagships cost just as much as from any other brands, they have to get them certified. The OnePlus 8 Pro would be available in blue, black and green and it would also add the support for 3 watts of reverse wireless charging. Alright, those are the specs for the upcoming OnePlus devices. What do you think about the specs? And also tell us, do you even care for new phone releases at all in these testing times? If it launches in April, will you get one? I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, bye-bye and stay safe.